Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up localization in Spring Boot application. Uh, here's what we are going to build. We're going to build a simple application that has this uh, greeting API that uh, have the response in languages based on the headers of the accept language. So here's a little demo. Uh, as you can see, I if I don't include the accept language in the header, it's gonna uh, respond in hello. But if I what if I have a accept language and the value is French, I'm gonna have bonjour and let's try another language. Let's say Vietnamese, phi. And we got uh, Xin Chao in uh, greeting. So how cool is that? So now we're going to build it. Now first thing is first, uh, I'm going to create a Spring Boot application. Uh, I'm going to select uh, Gradle and the Spring Boot 3.0.2. And I got uh, artifacts is, is locale. And uh, you can... Uh, name whatever you want and I selected Java 17 and uh, the only dependencies I need for this project is just Spring Web. Now let's uh, just uh, generate it. You can save it and now let's open this in uh, your favorite uh, IDE. Uh, all right. And now in my IntelliJ IDE with the project I just created, uh, first I'm gonna create a new class that uh, holds a list of uh, languages that uh, the project gonna support. So I'm gonna name it uh, language config, right? And in here I'm gonna define the list public uh, static final list and. It's gonna hold the locale. Why is isn't here? It's just keep going, all right? Uh, name it locales, and it's gonna equal race as list. Now I'm gonna define new locale. Uh, it's gonna first gonna be English, of course. Then I can have like uh, French, MR, oops, right, and uh, the last one is uh, Vietnamese. So we're gonna have three languages, right? Next, I'm gonna create a new class called my local resolver. Which gonna implement uh, the uh, local resolver, right? Resolver from uh, this, and uh, I have to implement the methods, right? So uh, two methods right here, right? Let's just write them. And uh, now in this, uh, I'm gonna get the language from the header by String language equal press get headers and uh, the name of the header is going to be accept language language. All right. Uh, next, uh, I'm going to check if uh, there is no accept language header. If uh, language or no, or language is empty. Uh, I'm gonna set. Uh, I'm gonna return the language of English locale dot for language tag. It's gonna be n, right? Uh, now let's uh, have the locale equal locale dot for language tag. And it's gonna be the language we're getting from the header language. Now let's uh, let's check if uh, 
the locale here is in the list that we defined because we just uh, we only support three different languages. So uh, if a language config dot locales dot uh, contains the language locale, then we're gonna return it. Return locale. All right, and uh, if it doesn't contain in a list, we just uh, return the language of English as a default. And right, okay, that's done. Right, next we're gonna have a new class for message configuration. Right. So uh, the purpose of this class is to um, to load the message property files from the class path. So we're gonna create those uh, messages files later. But first, uh, let's define a bin here. Right. So uh, public message source and gonna have message search. Next, uh, have resources. Uh, bundle uh, message search it's right here and I'm calling message source and you have new resources bundle source uh, I'm gonna set the base name here set base name gonna be uh, messages and the default encoding is going to be UTF 8. Just return it. Now let's create uh, those uh, messages file for in the class path for each individual language. So uh, you can see here is uh, the file uh, is going to be in the resources and uh, I'm going to create the English uh, file first it's going to be uh, messages uh, messages because we set the base name is messages right so uh, for language I just uh, n because uh, we uh, define the locale is n right here right so that's why this is great again so it's going to be mess messages uh, n and dot properties. All right. So we're going to define the key value. It's greeting in English is going to be hello. Right. Now, similarly, for to save you some time, I uh, also create a uh, uh, properties messages file for uh, French and uh, Vietnamese. Now it's time to test it out. But first, we're gonna need a controller, a simple controller called Greeting Controller. All right, so it's gonna be a REST controller and uh, request mapping is just uh, Greeting. And in here, we just uh, have uh, get simple get request. All right, so uh, public uh, string and we call it greeting and of course we have a uh, we're gonna have the uh, HTTP circlet request I'm gonna call it request uh, now we need to uh, reference uh, load the message source and uh, local resolver uh, coming from request so I'm gonna have those here also why private message resource message source right here message source all right and uh, next uh, we're gonna have the uh, recall a local resolver that we uh, implement right private my local resolver right so now let's just uh, get it. Return 
message source dot get message and the key is going to be a greeting let's just remember we uh, uh we only have one key here is greeting and the second parameters third one will be the locale this so you're getting it from the request right so remember we uh we have this uh, coming request from coming from the HTTP public request and it runs through uh, our uh, uh, locale resolver right here. So it's gonna get the lo locale from the request from the request header, and it's gonna be mapped to uh, the languages from those files based on the accept headers, right? So it's time to test it out. Right, so uh, it's, uh, here's our base application file. It's just gonna run it. Now, after run it failed several times, I realized I uh, forgot those uh, configuration annotation here's in the my local resolver and. Uh, also in the message configuration, so it doesn't load those bins when project is started. So now the project is started in the port 8080. So now let's uh, give it a test. And uh, here you can see uh, when I have the SH accept language for French, it's going to return bonjour. And if uh, no accept language is given, it's gonna be the default hello. Now let's uh, try for Vietnamese. Same. All right, it's Xin Chao as expected. All right, so that's it for the video. I hope you uh, learned something new today and uh, see you next time.